Hey guys, so I am back today with a foundation routine and review for you. And I've had this for a while and I've had some requests for me to show you this foundation in motion. So that's what I'm going to do today. And it is from Cover FX and I just have a little sample of it. This is the oil free foundation and look in the info bar and I'll have all the info down there for you as far as like price and that sort of thing. But the shade I have is N50. And so let's just go ahead and get started. I have already moisturized. Just kind of clip this out of the way here. And I'm going to apply at least the first layer just with my fingers. And that way you can really see like how it blends out. And this shade, it matched me really well at the time that I got this sample, which is a couple months ago or a few months ago actually. And it might be just a hair dark for me, but I think it's going to work. So I'm just going to spread that out. And the first thing that I notice when I start to blend this is it's not very, it's not like a silky feeling foundation. It's a little bit tacky. And it doesn't just like effortless, <laughs> effortlessly, that word. Um, it doesn't just effortlessly blend in. You really have to kind of work at it. And I don't really like that. Yeah, it's just a little bit darker than my neck, but that's okay. We'll fix that. So this is just like one thin layer. So as you can see, it help to even my skin tone out a little bit, but I still have um, some scarring and blemishes showing through and some redness over here and over there a little bit too. So let's go ahead and apply another layer. And I'm just going to continue to use my fingers. And I'm not, I'm avoiding my eye area because I'm like super dry under there right now. And as tacky as this foundation is, I just, I don't really want it under my eyes, you know. So it's definitely buildable. Um, it doesn't look cakey at all. It actually looks very natural. I hope it's coming through. It looks kind of different like in the viewfinder than it does in my mirror over here. So... I hope it's coming through accurately, but with two layers, what I have on right now is medium coverage. Let me add just a little bit more to just the areas that I need it and see if we can make it full coverage. Kind of, I'm pretty good over here, so I'll just add a little bit. I'll just kind of like pat it. Definitely want to blend it down here. Well, I definitely think that that brought it up to a pretty good full coverage look. So I'm just going to go in with some concealer underneath my eyes and maybe on just a couple of spots that still need just a little bit more. And um, I'll go ahead and use like powder and blush and bronzer and all that. Um, since this video is just about the foundation, I'm just going to show you me applying it. But if you want to know specific products that I used, I'll list that all for you in the down bar. So just look down there. And so let me just go ahead and finish up my face and then we'll come back.
Alright guys, so this is how the foundation looks with kind of like a full face of makeup on. Um, when I have tried this foundation before, I found that I got really oily with it and I have dry skin. So I got really oily in the T-zone. So I'm going to come back later and show you the progress and see if that happens a couple months later. So... Alright guys, so it is now 4 p.m. and I applied the foundation about 9.30 this morning. So it's had like a full day's worth of wear and I hope you can tell like how shiny my T-zone is. I don't know if it's really going to come across in the viewfinder. It looks like I'm shiny. I hope you can tell. But um, when I first got this foundation sample and I used it several times, that is the main thing that I noticed. And so I had already formulated an opinion on it, but I thought I would give it another shot today, um, but it just does the same thing. It's so shiny on my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and I also, just after like two and a half hours, I noticed it getting very patchy right here along my jawline. Like it wore off in places and I still don't feel like it really set all the way. Even though I put powder over it, it still feels tacky and um, it just feels like I could just do this and just wipe it right off. So I don't like the feeling of it on my skin. So it is a good foundation in that it doesn't have any parabens in it and it actually has things in it that are good for your skin. Like it has something in it that is supposed to reduce inflammation and all that stuff and the color selection is awesome. It comes in cool, neutral, and warm tones and I love it when foundations come in different tones like that because you're very likely to find a match for you. So I really like that. Um, on the Sephora website it says that it has flexible sheer to full coverage. I would totally agree with that. If you remember when I first put one layer on it was kind of like a lot maybe a little bit medium coverage and then with each layer I really built it up to a full coverage look. Also uh, even though I just have like a little sample I do like how it's packaged. It comes in a squeeze tube so you can definitely make sure that you use all the products so you don't waste any and the price is $40 and for me I would never pay $40 for this foundation. <laughs> And it's just my opinion, like I said. Uh, my recommendation for you, if you want to try this, is go to Sephora and get a sample. They'll match you, they give you a free sample, and that way you can try it out before you drop 40 biggins on it. I really hope you guys like this review and uh, demonstration. I hope it helped you out if you were curious about this foundation. Thank you so much for watching. Please check the info bar for all the extra information and also links to all my other social media if you want to come and find me on there. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.